Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I am Kareem Clemens. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for following me. This right here is Kareem in the morning. At this time, I will run my disclaimer. This channel and these videos are not meant for children under the age of 13. Omega Studio News, Talk Show T, Content Warning, Kareem in the Morning, over the age of 18. Warning, the views and express and the opinions expressed in this program is just that views and opinions don't take any of this serious, but I will warn you, viewer discretion is advised. Okay, so welcome to Kareem in the morning. Of course, I'm Kareem. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for following me. Right here, right now, it is just a busy, busy, busy day. You know where I'm going to start off. Yes, the disgrace, Jesse Smollett. But before I continue with that, I just want to bring up this, okay? So if you guys uh, recall, uh, I also brought this up on jury review. It is more like uh, inspirational, excuse me, inspirational, inspirational quotes for you and, you know, positive uh, quotes to get you to start your day. When you're watching this video, you probably don't know, we don't know what you're going through, uh, but I want people who are watching this video when you're watching it and you're ending the video feel some type of way a good way so right here uh i have some quotes here I read one don't start your day with the broken pieces of yesterday every day is a fresh start each day is a new beginning every morning we wake up is the first day of our new life never give up stay focused stay positive and stay strong and uh, dear God, I need you, dear God, thank you. Anyone here, God does not want you to try harder. He wants you to trust him. Deep, stop trying, start trusting. If you don't love yourself, you're always chasing after people who don't love you either. So that right there is inspirational quotes, okay? So yes, and if you want to follow Kareem, that's me, Jay Clemens on Facebook, Twitter, or Vegas Video News, and YouTube. Thank you for joining. Okay, so uh, let's go back. I'll keep I'll, I'll keep the inspirational quotes up there, but in the meantime, uh, I want to talk to you guys about this story now. I'm just really uh, flabbergasted at the situation because this man, yes, the disgraced Jesse Smollett is continuing or have continued to make a muck out of the situation at hand, okay? And this man don't know when to freaking quit. Like, he is just continuing to dig a mud hole into his story, which is not going to help him. It's just going to only hurt him in the long run, if not whatever was 
if, if not whatever damages that had happened when he first came out of the story in 2019, it's like, you know, when do you stop? When do you stop fabricating stories? When do you stop lying? And when are you going to start telling the truth? Nothing but the truth. So help you God. As you raise your right hand, as you testify under oath, when you decided to take your uh, take the stand in your trial which was absolutely dumb. Just dumb. Closing arguments. Closing arguments is happening right now between both of the parties. We have the defense party who is closing arguments are trying to prove to the, de to the jury people that the disgraced Jesse Smollett did not set this up and did not pretty much make a muck and, and did not lie for the simple fact is that, you know, he was attacked. This man was attacked. And then the prosecutor is going to continue to prove without a reasonable doubt, okay, on top of the fact that this man said that he was attacked by white people and that if he's accusing the Austin Durham brothers of attacking him, uh, hello, the last time that I checked, uh, they were black. I'm just saying. And it's just really, really sad because this man is continuing to lie, 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 lie. We already know. Okay, as I said this, then I'll say it again on Kareem in the morning on the go. You guys like that, right? All right. So my thing is this. He already told the world that he was he showed up at a bathhouse, masturbating, having sexual relationships coke and marijuana so my thing is this like you are going out here doing all this stuff and it's like your job your job your job not testing you i, I have a clip here that i want to play and and, and 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 i was saying that the nfl the nba and all of them are trying to, uh, 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 they test their players and they want to find out if they have any type of drugs in their system. And when they find out that they have it, the first thing they want to do, if they test positive or something, they want to suspend them or ban them for the season or whatever. But the moment you have an act, actor and an actress who is out there, I don't know if they pretty much do drug testing, but damn it, he said under oath, that he was doing coke and marijuana in a bathhouse with his alleged hackers. But his statement was, okay, his statement was, hold on, the statement was, or he said, his attackers were white. Your attackers were white, Jesse Smaller. See, you lying so much that you don't even remember the first lie that you told. And then when you get down to the, the last lie, it's like that lie is on top of that lie. This jury people, this jury people are going to find that ass guilty. It's sad because a lot of people, I read the comments on certain, uh, on the stories about what took place. And a lot of people are shocked, like... Did this guy really say that he was sucking dick? Really? Tell me it ain't a lie. Tell me it's a lie. It's not a lie. I am confirming it's not a lie. Oh, oh, how you know it's not a lie? Because he said he is a gay man. So if he's a gay man, obviously, I'm just saying, he said it. What else are you going to the bathhouse doing? It came out the horse mouth. What else are you going to the bathhouse to do? He was sucking dick. He was doing coke. And he was doing marijuana.
look, man, I'm just really, really, really upset that the fact that, you know, this man had 2019, you had the attack that happened January 2019. You had the whole infamous uh, report with Robin Robbins on uh, Good Morning America or ABC. You had coverage on clout on that day. February 14, 2019, or the day before, day after, you told the world that you was attacked. Come to find out, February, March, April, May, you got the whole controversy where you're being charged because the Chicago Police Department decided to investigate and they spent their time and effort knowing that you was telling the lie. That was a lie. Okay. And then they decided to charge you. And then for some strange reason, your charges get dismissed and closed and sealed. And then boom. So that was 2019. So then, you know, you got all that time on your platform to explain what the f happened. My thing is like now it's like it's too late. You on trial, closing arguments, when they find that as guilty, bitch, they you are going to have felony charges, ten, uh, permanent charges on your rap sheet, and those will not be expunged for some time. Okay, uh, you will be publicly uh, shamed, you will be publicly embarrassed, ridiculed, uh, you might not see it, but it's happening. It's just like, you are just downright disgusting, bro. Like, seriously, especially for you to hang on the fact that you are standing under the LGBTQINA, that is lesbian, gay, bisexual, questioning, intersect, and asexual. Okay, when well, you are standing on the heels of saying that you are this gay Tupac, right, gay Tupac, and you want to be the person that is, uh, uh, want people to feel sorry for you, but you took something that people are fighting to this day, today, you don't even see it, those stories you don't see, you got the transgenders who are being killed, you got the people who are being gay bashed, you have people who are still today, Going through what you motherfucking putting through, what you going through right now in that trial, bitch. Okay? You're making a muck out of this. You're making a muck out of it. And it's sad because people are still saying, oh my God, I believe him. Oh my God, he's telling the truth. I just don't understand. I really don't understand. And it's like, some people like, oh, they're going to find him not guilty. Really? Really? They're going to find him not guilty? Really? Wow. If they find him not guilty, I'm telling you, it's going to be hell over high waters. Um, I'm, I guarantee you. I guarantee you. And, you know, I, I just, well, I, I, I'll have to find that archive, but I did see a video with my own eyes where he was on Candy Cody Night, the show my girl Candy, from The Real Housewives of Atlanta, okay, he was on a show, and he said a story, he talked about a story where he had met his encounters, okay, his sexual partners, and I remember clearly saying that he is a Jewish, he's Jew, he's Jewish, he's a Jewish man, he's not a gay man, uh, a black man, he's not a gay black man, he's a Jewish gay man, okay, now, I got to find that archives, and if it was deleted, I would know how to go back into the time machine and go get it, okay? But I remember hearing it, 9 out of 10, 99.99, I'm always right when I say I hear, I hear it. And when I say 99.9%, .9 when I say that they're guilty, they will turn out to be guilty, okay? They're going to come out guilty. Well, actually, you did miss one, Kareem. Which one was that one? When you said Harvey Weinstein was going to be found not guilty. Oh, yeah, 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 I did say that when I said R. Kelly was going to be found guilty, he was found guilty. When I, when I say uh, the disgraced Jesse Smollett is going to be found guilty, yeah. And when I said Rittenhouse was going to be found not guilty, he was found not guilty, yeah, yeah. Okay. When I said Chauvin, the officer who killed George Floyd, when I said that he's definitely going to get found guilty, was right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So I'm saying the disgraced Jesse Smollett, when he's found guilty, Okay, uh, he's gonna think about the fact that you had 2019, 
You had 2020 because he thought the pandemic was going to come and play and be like, hey, hey, I'm just going to forget about this and people going to stop making a muck out of this story because everybody named Mama on social media was talking about this story. And they was talking about it because they did not understand how people to this day is in jail fighting for their charges to be dismissed and expunged because of this man had help. You're not going to see no special treatment happening to no black man. He's not black man. You would see this happening to a white man or a Jewish man, yeah. But black man, no, they're going to try to railroad you, put you under the gutter, and then pretty much stomp all over you, and then make sure that you are uh, you ain't squeaky clean. You're going to be uh, definitely ruined and tore up and then fed to the to the to the savagers okay fed, fed to the people so they can run with the story but my thing is this if it if if, if anything when this man is found guilty i want to know if federal charges is going to be brought up against him okay i want to know if federal charges is going to be brought up against him because again he committed a crime through the parcel service okay by mailing that letter i don't have the letter here but the letter that he had drew stick stick men depicting now who the fuck who the who so you saying the austin Durham brothers did that you, you say they did that or you did that and you 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 actually basically depict everything that you that 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 happened to you okay everything that happened to you and that it happened to you it pretty much you know you got the rope around a stick man. You got the, the oh, first of all, it, it probably was supposed to be guns, okay? Because that's what it was with guns. And mind you, in an article that I shared before, the Austin Durham brothers, one of them was trying to get the evidence uh, out of uh, custody, which happened to be bleach guns and cell phones. I'm just saying, okay? So it's just more shit happening right now when it comes to the disgrace Jesse Smaller. And I don't know how long it's going to take the jury people to come back, but when they come back, quick, fast, in a hurry, all right? You trying to call, the defense is trying to call a mistrial? Absolutely not. Uh, news around the country is saying that closing arguments began uh, on this day in the morning in the Jesse Smollett trial a day after the formal actor took the stand. That is so crazy. Like, you honestly thought that you was going to be a rent house and take the stand in your own defense because he took the stand in his own defense and they found his ass not guilty. But you, you, and he white. I can understand. The charges and that man straight up said that he killed the two men and injured one of the men in the in self-defense bitch you you on the other hand mm -mm. Mm -mm. no your story is just all over the place and you know who put it that way you did you did and social media people like me citizen journalists social media bloggers are taking all this and they are giving well, me, I'm seeing myself. They, so we're give, I'm giving my opinion, okay? And this is my opinion. You are in danger, or you was in danger, and you're just making it worse for yourself. You guys might as well just hang it up. Just hang it up and just stop freaking talking about it and putting your, incriminating yourself more because people are going to use this and make uh, continue to make help you make a muck out of yourself. When I say hang it up, I'm talking about dismiss. I'm talking about end it. End this saga. End those lies. Okay? End what you're saying because it is it is it is hurting you. And I'm sure it's gonna it's hurting you in the future. But he's saying that uh his movie is definitely, definitely going to help him get out of the spotlight and draw attention away from that. I don't think so. But anyway, we shall see. It's, it, it'll soon be in the hands of the jury people. And when the jury people come back with a verdict of guilty on all his counts, uh, he better be ready for whatever consequences that he is facing.
because it's going to be worse than what he should have done earlier by copping the plea or just coming out blatantly on your platform and talking to people about what you what happened oh he probably would have been like oh well it was a gag order or it was i couldn't talk about the case but it is what it is stay with the uh kareem in the morning right here right now or omega studio news or talk show to your cluster platform any story that breaks and this disgrace jesse smollett case i will give it to you right here on the platform you guys like the inspiration this is this is the inspirational wall i'm i'm gonna what i'm trying to do i'm trying to see if i can uh do it every uh Friday with jury review, but this was the one that was jury review. That's my friend Sheeny. Rest in peace to him. Okay. So, yeah. So, let me just go ahead and move on real quick before I get go ahead and end the show. I was going to be eating some cranberries. Now, you know what? I kind of messed up. I fucked up. I should have I should have opened this. See, I thought these was mixed berries. Okay. I thought I should have I, I thought these were mixed berries, but these are cranberries. So, I was going to be, I was going to mention some cranberries. But before I continue, uh, continue on, I want to um, uh, touch on two, two, two uh, topics. One, real quick, do you know that they're bringing back the Care Bears, the Care Bear dolls, the Care Bear dolls, the Care Bear dolls? Yes, the Care Bear dolls, the dolls that have the, 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 the little emoji in the middle of their stomach. And they're the, the Care Bear, they're different colors. And whenever they need help, they like to flash it out. Yes, the Care Bears. So I was saying this if you guys are bringing back the Care Bears, then y'all need to bring back Monster Dump. Y'all need to bring back Trolls. Okay. Y'all need to definitely, definitely bring back the My Buddy. Okay. Because the My Buddy actually helped me go to the bathroom. That was the song. My buddy, my buddy and me, do PP, my buddy. Okay? So, uh, also, y'all definitely, definitely need to bring back the Teddy Ruxpin doll. Okay? And last but not least, do not forget the Garbage Pail Kids. Okay? So, if you're going to bring back Care Bears, you better bring all those back. All right? We, I'm telling you. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you. It's real. And before I continue, uh, before I end off the show, I want to go ahead and uh, show some respect to, as you guys see in the article over there, Ryan White, who died of AIDS at the age of 18, would have turned 50 in December. He made the world better. So shout out to Ryan White. This is Ryan White. A little bit about his story. Uh, Ryan White, an adolescent AIDS, suffered uh, because basically... Uh, as you can see a picture here, uh, this is this was the scene back then when they they didn't really know about the whole HIV and AIDS epidemic and how it was on a, on a rise of killing a lot of people and taking a lot of people's lives and they didn't really know about it. So at this time, this young man right here by the name of Ryan White, he was ridiculed and he was banned from his school and he had to go and do school training from home because of his diagnosis. And this is him right here. It says an original. Uh, it says that he is, Ryan White looks at his math book as he listens on a phone connected to class at school. And his mother uh, looks in the background. And this is Ryan's room in his home. This is the Western School Court a system set up, this, uh, set up uh, after barring Ryan from class rooms because he suffered from AIDS. And it's like right around the whole fact of December 1st marked 
the anniversary for World AIDS Day. So a lot of a uh, lot of a lot has happened and came from this man himself, Ryan White. And I can tell you here that uh, Congress passed what is called the Ryan White Care Act, which provides more than two billion to help develop and improve and maintain its assist, uh, accessibility and affordable system of diagnosis, care, and treatment for those most at risk of HIV and AIDS. And I can tell you, ladies and gentlemen, we have come far advanced from where they was back to where he was alive to where we at today. A lot of people who was alive, uh, uh, sorry, all the people who have died when they were alive back then, to get the treatment that we have today, they would have loved it, okay? They would probably have been probably still living. I'm telling you, because nowadays people are living longer than you can ever imagine. And what, what was happening is then they had so much medicines that they had to take medicine after medicine, medicine, a handful of medicines. But now it's like they have cocktails, which is all in one pill. You understand? So again, the advance that they have, the advanced technology and medicine that they have that has progressive in the HIV and AIDS epidemic, it has shown that they have come far, 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 far to uh, help people who is uh, suffering from HIV and AIDS. And now, you know, they have PEP and PrEP and all these other things that are associated to help people stay healthier and help them stay living longer. And again, this Ryan White, this man, uh, is another picture right there with him and Elton John, uh, who he loves. Elton John really loves him. Uh, he called right here uh, while he fought the discrimination. White become the object of national admiration champion by a number of celebrities, including Elton John. It's just that his story touched a lot of people. So I'm going to have this story and share this story right in the description below. All right. So again, thank you guys so much for tuning in right here, right now to Kareem in the morning. Uh, I'm going to actually have the video uh, on the blog page, which shows me earlier talking. So I'll have that uh, for you guys to view. Okay, so again, thank you. I'm Kareem. For more information, you guys can visit the blog page. Have a good one.